Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel in the craft slash dining room. The reason you're looking at this slowly moving picture of me is I took it before a giant, well, let's just say a middle-aged pimple is on my nose and there is no way to cover it up with makeup. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Here's a look at the Avery L. Stamp Timber exclusive, and this is called Reindeer Wishes. Now I have an idea, and I don't know if it's gonna work. There are coordinating dies. I do not have them, so I'm not gonna worry about trying to fussy cut little blah, blah, no. I am just going to color a rainbow masterpiece, or at least that's the plan. I'm gonna place my reindeer right smack dab in the center, because I don't, I don't know what else I would do here. Let's see, because would we, well, you know what, maybe, Maybe this panel needs to be over a little bit so that then I could stamp a little merry and bright if that's what I choose. So you know what? I'm going to hedge my bets here. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's prime it up a little. I have not stamped with this. And I'm actually going to use some colors based on an older video that I did for a Lawn Fawn exclusive that was from Stamp Timber last year or maybe the year before. Here's the thing, if you stumble upon a color scheme that works, by all means, use it again. And I'm never 100% sure with my Copics. So again, I will pop a link up to that video, a card here, if you wanna check it out. But that's the color scheme I'm going to use and I'm just gonna rotate it around, hopefully, Memento, Tuxedo Black, Copic Friendly Ink. Make sure I'm pushed right into the corner here. And I'm gonna try to ink up this big old stamp. It's really big. This image would be cute on a five by seven panel too, but I, you know, I only make a few. I don't make a lot. Let's bring this down and I will use my Debbie tool and press to transfer. Pretty sure this will take two transfers or two stampings. Oh yeah, I kind of missed that completely in the middle there. Can we get that? There we go. Sometimes you just gotta go back and add a little more pressure. That's the beauty of this tool, right? I tell ya, I would not, I would not be the card maker I have become without this tool. I like to give it all the credit because I literally could not stamp to save my life. Well, I mean, maybe to save my life, but you know what I'm saying. And I think, I think that looks really good. So let me clean, oh, well, this is mostly damp. Let me wipe this up with my tidy towel and I will grab my ink colors. So I've got all my markers laid out off camera here and I'll put each pen here. And just so you know, I have, oh, you can't really see it. I have replaced the, nib, the chisel nibs with a fine nib because that for me is easier to color. Now, if you choose to do this, you may not be able to refill your uh, pen, but I'll tell you what, I've tried refilling pens and every time I've done it, it turns into an absolute disaster. So I don't color that much that replacing a whole pen and another nib is not gonna be a big deal for me. So I'll put on some music and let's get to coloring.
I could keep going, but honestly, I think that's enough. And this was my little homage to the purple. I hadn't originally planned, I was going to go complete rainbow order, but then I realized that I put the yellow down before I wanted it there. Anywho, I think this is really cute and I'm not going to do anything else to this. I'm going to plan now where the greeting goes and we're going to proceed with the card. Now here's what I don't know, and I think that's going to be too tight. I like to crop after I've colored or after I've ink blended because it gives you the ability to come in, right, and kind of visualize what is your finished card going to look like. But here's what I don't know. I don't know if that's too much white space at the bottom, and now I'm second guessing that crop. So let's take this one up. Let's go down one and I like to, I like to go this upside down cause I think I can see it better. If I were to crop this right here, okay. Uh, where we have just about the image centered and then I popped my little Mary and bright here. That would be very cute. I feel like that's the ticket and you know what? We can always splatter on a little tiny bit of gold paint if that helps it to look a little more connected in there, but I don't, I don't think that's necessary. Let me see here. All right, how are we looking straight wise? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, let's powder up the space because I have been touching it quite a bit and I'll just wipe off all this extra powder after we stamp. I'm going to take my Versamark pad, ink this up. In the corner and bring it down. Transfer with my little press tool. I think I'll stamp it one more time just for a really great impression. I'm not pressing like, you know, CPR hard, just like that. I I think this is going to be cute. Get out the gilded powder. Actually, I think I'll hold it like that. And let's just sprinkle it on. And if I get any on my deer, I will definitely brush it away. I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's stuck, but I think we're going to do a little brushing with our little tool here. Funnel that back in. All right, let's take a look at that. Now, see, here's the thing. This probably isn't a, a mass production card, right? Because this thing would take forever. But one of the reasons I love to crop after the fact is that if I do some heat embossing, then when I go ahead to put this down, it is going to help me to flatten it a little by running it through. So I'll bring in my plate here. I'm going to cut this off camera, but sometimes I do like to uh, tape a panel down just so that I can easily See how warpy, warped it got now? Because I want to get this very close to the edge. I wasn't 100% sure, right? And I don't want to lose any of that detail, but I think right there is going to be our golden ticket. Okay. And then I'll tape at the bottom too, just so that it doesn't shift. Because when there's a little warpage, sometimes it wants to pop this on and I'll just run it through my Gemini off camera. And now I have the cutest little panel. Oh, look how cute that is. I think this is adorable. Okay, I, I, it's still a little warped. So I'm gonna do my little trick where I just go pop this in a book for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go have a cup of coffee. Believe me, I'll turn the camera off during that time. But I think I am going to mount this to a note card and I'm going to add some sort of shiny gooey stuff to each ornament. Huh? I'll be right back. I've gone ahead and created a USA2 note card on some Audrey Blue, which I think 
Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love, I love holiday with blue note cards, especially if you're doing rainbows. So I have foam tape on the back. We are going to pop this down. Now we might just ruin the whole thing, but I got to try it. I want to do some nouveau crystal glaze. And of course you won't be able to see on camera how good this looks in the end, because I'll have to wait a couple hours for it to completely dry. But when you see the photo at the end, hopefully, right? Hopefully it's going to look great. Now, whenever you're doing this, always, <laughs> always practice first and kind of work in a way that makes sense to you. So for me, I'm just going to start at the bottom. All right. It's I squeezed some out. It's flowing really well. Wish me luck. Here we go. I like to wiggle it a little just to kind of get to the edges. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but it'll definitely add that fun element of dimension and shine. Let's start at the bottom. This is coming on really well. Really love this particular brand. I always seem to have better success with this. Okay. I guess we're working against, we're going down. And I figure because we're here, we might as well give our reindeer a little shiny nose too. Because, you know, if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. Let's get it down. Again, we're just going to kind of wiggle like that. And let that be. So that is the finished card project. I am going to have to let this dry and I guess I can also, you can also kind of tap a little and move it around, but I think that looks like a pretty good coverage. And yes, that is my finished card project. Now you can see in the final photo how cool the ornaments look, the wonderful shine, and hopefully this inspires you to check out this set. Now, even if this sells out, be sure to take note of the colors I use to create my simple rainbow because those are markers that I have used time and again, and you only need two to create a blend on whatever it is you're coloring. To see more videos with some simple coloring, check out the two thumbnails below. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you back here with another card project soon.